Good morning, YouTube. I wanted to make this quick little live video here to put out a call, especially, especially uh, for all my Rochester, New York, Monroe County, New York area, um, just the upstate New York area uh, viewers to send me any video footage you can of Amazon delivery drivers driving reckless this includes speeding running stop signs running red lights um i've made several videos those of you who follow the channel uh on a regular basis have probably seen that i have made several videos uh on amazon delivery drivers uh driving reckless uh in one video in fact I actually alerted a young um, Amazon delivery driver that his rear doors on his delivery van, these white delivery vans that they're zipping through and driving through different communities all over the country, not just in Rochester. And I'll get to that in a minute as far as the issues, not just in Rochester. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, I alerted him that basically his rear door was completely open. What's going on is that this is a race for profit. Uh, Amazon, and I don't have to say this or go into it in too much detail, as you already know, Amazon is a giant. Actually, to say giant is an understatement. And it's all about money. And when you put a huge, giant corporation like Amazon... Um, billions and billions and billions of dollars worldwide uh, business that they do when you put a you know when you put money on the line and when packages need to get somewhere yesterday you know what I mean that fast they need it to be there yesterday what you have is you're compromising safety you're putting innocent motorists and innocent citizens at risk Rochester, New York mainstream media, not surprisingly, has completely, completely ignored the issue. And again, I'm talking specifically about this Rochester, New York area. Um, basically, hold on, Noli. Why don't you hang anymore? Did you not like us anymore? No, nah, it's not even like that. Obviously, you don't watch the channel as much as I, perhaps I would think you do. If you knew, you would know that... Uh, Davey V, Tony from the UK, how are you, my man? Good morning, Tony. Uh, I'll address that other point in another video. I've made several videos of how toxic social media is, how my family and me have always been threatened. Uh, we've been targeted. My cars have broken into. My cars have been vandalized. Um, and, uh, you know, unfortunately, YouTube doesn't protect viewers, uh, viewers or users, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to get into that right now, but, uh, I thought you would, if you're, if you're an avid uh, fan of the, of the channel and of me, you know, a follower supporter, then, uh, you should know that by now. Um, but yeah, basically social media is very toxic and every now and then, you know, you can't, you can't erase a passion, right? When you're passionate about something, you're always going to come back to it, right? Or at least you're always going to look for a way to make it work for you. And that's been something that I've always tried to do, meaning, you know, putting up with the trolls, with the threats, stuff that you guys and girls will never even know or see. Um, you know, all the hate mail, all the hate. We support you, man. Gracias, Alfredo. I appreciate it, mi hermano. Gracias, Alfredo. Um, Alfredo Rivera said we support you. I appreciate that, my brother. That means a lot. Um, so basically, all the stuff that you guys will see, which is... Um, you know, which is all the threats, all the hate mail, all the nasty, I mean, nastiest thing that you could imagine that I get almost on a daily basis that you guys don't see. So, you know, I'm always passionate. I've been doing this since 1995. This is not new to me. I love video. You know what I mean? I used to have a show called Keep It On The Real for, for the real fans out there in the day ones and the supporters. Um, Y'all already know. You know what I mean? I used to have a show in, uh, in the mid-90s called Keep It On The Real, Okay, back to show. Nine years before YouTube was even thought of. YouTube has only been around since 2004. I've been doing this since the mid-90s. We had groups like Naughty by Nature, artists like Method Man, legends in hip-hop, real, real hip-hop, real legends. So uh, I'm always going to be passionate about this, but, you know, sometimes you just got to take a break or step away 
and uh, and reboot, so to speak. And I recommend that for everyone, for each and every one of you. Social media can be very, very toxic. I'm going to be talking about that more and more. It's it's great in many ways, and in many ways, it's just one of the most toxic places, toxic things that you can take part in is social media. So, um, you know. But anyways, I need video of all of Reckless... Um, Billy, Billy, what's good? Hi, David. Much respect for what you do. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate that. And thank you for tuning in, logging in. I always joke that I call it tuning in again for my cable access days. Tuning in when you tune in TV, right? I guess this is more like logging in, but I still call it tuning in. So basically, Rochester, New York mainstream media, not surprisingly, has ignored uh, something that's been going on since at least last year, which is when the Amazon Distribution Center um, opened up here in the Rochester, New York area, specifically Henrietta, New York, which is a suburb right, of, uh, right, uh, right, uh, right outside Rochester. And these drivers have been driving reckless, running stop signs, running red lights, speeding. Um, these cars, these delivery vans are all banged up. They're always crashed up. They're always getting windshields replaced. And again, what is the issue? The issue is that when you when you give a person basically 100 and 150 at a time, your truck needs to be delivered somewhere. I live in Rochester, so know why you do what you do. Thank you, Billy. And I appreciate that. That right there means so much when somebody says that. You know, people that, that know the story. I appreciate that. Um... So what happens is when you give someone, you know, uh, uh, that needs a job, you know, and I respect that, right? Um, basically, a job where it's based on the amount of packages that you deliver, meaning here, here's your truck. Truck is full. Go, go, go. And you need to deliver these packages and get them to these homes. ASAP. And we bought purchase from Amazon, myself included, right? So my issue is this, that. These drivers, many of them are young. Many of them, I would say, that are inexperienced behind the wheel. I mean, I respect that. And, and these corporations like Amazon um, have, you know, hired them and paid them, you know, a few bucks an hour to deliver these packages. And when you're under that pressure, when you're under that, uh, that, that time clock, right, of getting these packages um, delivered, and then getting back to the distribution center to load up again and to do it all over again, um, it causes a, a a safety issue where you're driving reckless, where you're basically speeding, where you have reckless disregard for other motorists because in your mind and in your job description and what you've been ordered to do by Amazon is deliver these packages ASAP. And it's just reckless, reckless. So again... Um, those of you that know me, like Billy, you know, probably know that I'm not just passionate about police issues. I've been trying to make the channel more varied. Yes, I've taken a little breaks here and there. But again, when you're passionate about something, you're always looking for ways to make it work. And you, you miss it when you're away from it. So that's what I'm trying to do. Bring you guys and girls different videos, a variety of stuff. And there's a lot of stuff that I'm passionate about. <clears throat> and one of them, excuse me, is are these corporate America giants who are putting money over safety. Tony says, uh, UK, me and my wife is going to, hold on, let me take, oh, man, I missed that. If you could send that again, Tony. I'm looking right at the sun. Let me put this down because I don't want to put the sun in you guys' face either. But um, there's so much sun that I just decided to point it at the beautiful day here in Rochester, New York. Tony, if you could send that again, any way you could send that again. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my, my man, I missed that. Uh, big fan of Tony for the UK. Much respect. Always tuning in. Appreciate you, Tony. Um, so again, send me any videos. Now back to the Rochester, New York thing. It's not just limited to Rochester, New York. If you live in freaking Little Rock, Arkansas, whatever you live, send me videos. Get at me. Take videos. Because if this is happening in Rochester, which is a relatively uh, small, mid-sized city, you know, uh, an area, uh, you know, not a huge city. If this is happening here, I know it's happening in big metropolitan cities. In fact, there's been cases where... Um, Amazon drivers have killed innocent pedestrians. Look it up. Look up reckless Amazon drivers uh, killing pedestrians, and you'll see several things pop up. This is nothing new. It's just new to this area. It's new to Rochester. And mainstream media, along with the Monroe County, New York Sheriff's Office, who patrols uh, the towns like Henrietta, New York, they're completely ignoring this because it's all about money, and nobody wants to go against a giant like Amazon, right? Think about that. Think about that. 
how money is so powerful and these corporations are so powerful with their attorneys that they're basically untouchable. Think about that. And that is your answer why media corporations like here in Rochester, New York area, have completely stayed away from this traffic and safety issue uh, that has come here to the Rochester, New York area ever since Amazon opened their distribution center in Henrietta, New York. So think about that real quick. Um, and again, send me videos. So not just in the Rochester, New York area, even though the title of the video says wanted uh, video footage of, you know, reckless Amazon drivers in the Rochester, New York area, whatever. Uh, anywhere, anywhere that you live, anywhere, small town USA, wherever you happen to be watching this, uh, get at me, uh, send videos, take videos of these uh, reckless. Um, me and my my wife is going, hold on, I, I screen, is going to New York in September for a holiday. Beautiful. Enjoy. Hit me up. So again, please send me videos. <clears throat> on the In general, just be on the lookout for videos, period, for stuff. Whether it's, uh, you know, above the law cop thinking, you know, he can park, because unfortunately they can. They can get away with it. In a handicapped parking zone. Whether it's, uh, you know, a cop speeding, you know what I mean? Talking on his cell phone, you know, do as I say, not as I do kind of mentality, right? Send videos. Always be alert. But not just about sending me videos. And don't get distracted from your driving. I want you to drive and remain safe, right? Drive safely. But always, people, always, like I always say, if I had to sum up one thing that this channel is really in the end about, it is exercising your First Amendment right to record. All this fake patriotism going on with these huge American flags and the fireworks and all this stuff. But what is real patriotism? Real patriotism is standing up for the First Amendment, standing up for the constitutional rights, what this country was funded on. I call it fake patriotism because all these people that are flying the huge 40-foot flags out of the back of their Ford pickups and all these people screaming America are the first ones, are often the first ones who would trample on my First Amendment right, on your First Amendment right, but yet they scream America, and America is great. But if it's so great, and it is a great country, then back someone up and support someone. Just because you don't agree with them, still support them, exercising their First Amendment right to record, exercising their constitutionally protected First Amendment right to record. But often they don't which is why fake patriotism. And you'll see a lot of it here in America tomorrow on the 4th. Most of these people don't even know their rights, but they're quick to pack up their family in the back of the pickup or van or whatever the fuck they drive and set off some fireworks. Fake patriotism. Fake patriotism. Just like when Martin Luther King rolls around and everyone's happy because they have a free day from school or a day off. Most of these parents, they don't educate themselves on what a great man uh, Martin Luther King was. Again, fake. And that's America for you in part. Uh, Billy, I'm taking a screenshot of this because I can't see it, but I will read your comment. I just screenshot. So again, be on the lookout in general. And always, 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 not for me, not to send me stuff. I, I, I welcome videos. I've been asking for videos for years from viewers. But not just that. You know what I mean? For you, stand up as an American. Exercise your First Amendment right to it. And for everyone who's watching overseas, like my man Tony in the UK, right to record also, my man. Don't be afraid. Don't ever be afraid to pull out a camera. See, film something. See something, record something. I love each and every one of y'all. Peace.